Mondiu Gozele. Big, very big, very excited about it. You see, if, if you know, you know that St. Lucia, our birth rate, is beginning to decline. In fact, it, it's been steady, I think, beginning to decline. And that has repercussions for the population, repercussions for our NIC, repercussions, uh, repercussions for, 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 the, for the future of our country. So what are we trying to do? And I want to congratulate the Ministry of Health. We're starting the universal health care program at the child level, at the maternal care, so we can have mothers being able to get all the necessary tests, all the necessary examinations, so that they can have healthy babies, and we can start from there. It's just a start of a process to, for, 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 for our UHC program, starting at that level and going forward. Well, where all these tests, you know, you must have, it's said that children's, the, the, best, the best time in their life, or the time when all their all this situations are rectified or made worse, is between conception and it's five or six years old. That's what, they, that's what they said. So we're trying to make sure that we keep this, we make sure that they get all the tests. Because, so what you want to do is you want to try to avoid illnesses, avoid them, particularly the NCDs the non-communicable diseases. We want to avoid them. So if, if the mothers get their pressure checked, the mothers get their, their diabetes checked, the mothers get all these kind of checks, um, hopefully they'll have a healthier baby and a healthier generation. Speaking of health, let me just get one next. On the topic of health, PM, what was the, what the thinking when, you, when your cabinet you decided to make health care for the 80s and above free? Because we, we're living in a very... We don't. We won't live in a society of ageism, where people believe as soon as you get fifty years, you should you should go and die. That's not, that's, not, that's, that's not supposed to happen. It's a serious thing. It's very serious. It's very very serious. Eh? Our retirement age is fifty five. In the public service. In the public service, if you not pay us, if you not if you not a contributor to NIC, right? Fifty five years old. Now we found that the population later before is getting older. Now. You may think that 80 years old, 80 years old. President Biden is going to be 84 after the election. 80, 80 what? 84, 86. Yeah. President Trump is going to be 82. Nancy Pelosi is right now 80, 81. Um, the, 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 the guy who leads the, 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 in, in the Senate is 80. These guys are up and going now. So it's 80, over 80 is old, man. There are a number of people in Russia who are more than 80 who are alive and who need to be taken care of, right? Most of them, they need the basic things, eyes, hearing, private pressure, et cetera. And this is what, that is what the program will take care of. Very necessary. So you take care of all categories? Of all categories. Once you register, you're over 80, you get to. And that's once you access the healthcare community health centers? Once you have centers, you get all these things free. And all government centers, 80 year olds, free. Effective when? First of July. <laughs>